First of all, you're the WBC <laughs> lightweight champion, Mikey Garcia. Now, we just talked a little earlier about the knockout, but let's talk about it again. What a spectacular knockout. It's already considered knockout of the year. <laughs> it's kind of early, but um, it'll be a strong candidate, I'm sure, and it's not going to be very easy to beat <laughs> or to match. <laughs> right. I, it was a you know, good performance. You know, I had you know, a very good fight. Um, that one punch at the end really you know, hurt him. And, um, like I said, I never wish any harm on my opponents. I'm glad he was okay. I'm glad he was able to recover and he was clear from the uh, medical and, and hospital. So I'm very, very happy for that. But uh, yeah, it was a great performance. I think it makes it a big statement in the, in the division. And just, you know, for every, any fan, any media, you know, they, they can see it. Your brother said that you ran to his aid. You were trying to remove the gloves, trying to remove the shoes, trying to, I guess, allow him to get oxygen inside that my, blood. My brother, my brother wanted to right away help him. Like I said, we never want shows real bad. We never want anything bad to, to happen. Uh, it's a dangerous sport, so we, we like to help as much as possible right away. You know, um, they had them there, but they they weren't removing the gloves or the shoes. We believe, you know, you want to get the blood circulating as fast as possible. Yeah. Every second count. You know, remove the mouthpiece right away. Remove the, 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 the gloves because they're on tight. You want that blood to circulate. Shoes, same thing, because they're on tight. So you want, you know, blood to start flowing, get that blood back to the, you know, get that oxygen back to the brain. Um, so that's the intent behind that, you know, want to help as much as we can. You know, walk us through that knockout again because you landed a superb uppercut and then you threw a left hook. It looked like you tried to move them and shift them yeah. to your position. You took a step back and you launched that right hand. That's, that's exactly how I it happened. Now, we practice, you know, that all the time. You know, we circle to our left. We yeah. almost have our, our uh, opponents have to turn back at us. But when they do, that's when we yeah. come back with a good right hand. And that's how it happened. I landed that uppercut. I hurt him. But he didn't go down. So after I circled back, I, you know, I pushed him a little bit with that yeah. left hook a little yeah. bit. So he comes back looking at me and he's already hurt. Then all I do is I just land that overhand right. You know? Yeah, correct me if I'm just killing for a second. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure.